Beklov started its activities in the Republic of Armenia in 1999, but the organization was founded in 1946 in Geneva by the Swiss Bankers Association. Currently, the organization carries out its mission in Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean countries, Asia and Eastern Europe. Eklov in Armenia is part of a global family of 14 microfinance institutions in Europe, Africa, Asia, Latin America. With its special expertise in lending to small farmers and to rural enterprises, it plays an important role in pursuing the social mission of Eklov. The Eklov Foundation was founded by Eklov International in Geneva, Switzerland and is currently a partner of Eklov International and a member of Eklov Universal Family. Eklov Foundation, as well as Eklov International, make investments and support implementation of microfinance programs. The foundation, together with the World Council of Churches, Armenia Roundtable Foundation and the AMCOR Foundation, initiated the ACT Alliance Armenia Forum and participates in the activities of the latter. Eklov, huh? Since 1999, Eklov started investing into microfinance projects and as logical continuation of those projects in 2006, Eklov UCO was established and registered by the Central Bank of the Republic of Armenia. Eklov UCO is the only credit organization in Armenia that has its head office in Echmiadzin city which is an important factor since all other credit organizations operating in Armenia have head offices in the capital city of Yerevan. Here are the communities where Eklov has offices, Echmiadzin, Bedi, Vartenis, Regnadzor and Stepanava. However, the organization specialists work in all neighboring settlements and reveal people who have a desire to develop their economy and to improve their living conditions. In line with its policy, the organization keeps in focus youth and women, and during our work we are trying to provide products especially for those focus groups. Eklov UCO is operating mainly in the regions and particularly in rural communities. These communities are not under the radar of other financial organizations and banks due to several reasons, most probably because they are considered as risky clients. Eklov Varkain Kazma Kirputsuna. Uh, Eklov UCO differs in Armenian market with its mission and in contrary to other organizations that pursue commercial purposes only, Eklov is a unique organization that has a social mission, supporting disadvantaged groups to reach social justice and ensure human dignity. Eklov respects the immeasurable value of every human life. Today, inequality deprives millions of people of the opportunity to enjoy life to the fullest. Eklov aims at enhancing human dignity, and Eklov specialists are well aware that due to unpredictable weather consequences, farmers in Armenia sometimes lose their entire harvest. Therefore, they are facing the problem of closing the loans they have taken. Even in this case, Eklov offers solutions. Even during the emergencies, we are trying to estimate organizational risks and to provide customers with an opportunity to reinforce their businesses. Seemingly, implementing lending programs for these people could be very risky and unjustified. But with its history and present, Eklov proves that these two ideas can be fully compatible, and this is being proven by the credit portfolio of the organization. All activities of Eklov UCO were consistently concentrated on supporting clients to become a desirable customer or banking system with sustainable micro or bigger businesses. Of course, it is just part of Eklov UCO social projects. It is known that Eklov UCO's main mission is creation of new jobs, especially self-employment and efficient self-employment opportunities. Everyone has the right to access to food, education, health, secure livelihood and community life. 
ECLOF helps its beneficiaries to regain these rights by earning a livelihood that can protect them from disasters and to build confidence in their ability to choose their future. As fellow citizens of One World, ECLOF walks alongside its clients to listen to their concerns and work with them as partners so that they take action to improve their lives. Internationally, as a member of the ACT Alliance, ECLOF joins other organizations in calling to end poverty and exclusion. ECLOF Armenia has its unique uh, position and unique place on the Armenian market, providing financial support to low-income households, to those who are uh, viewed by other financial institutions as high cost and high uh, risk. All men and women have the right to shape their destiny. ECLOF supports vulnerable groups. As in some countries, women, girls and youth are disproportionately affected by poverty, ECLOF specifically targets initiatives that promote their participation and leadership in the economic, social and political decisions that shape their lives. We are working in borderline and hard-to-reach communities. Our credit specialists visit those communities. Currently, agricultural loans have a large share in ECLOF's investments, but recently they have been paying a lot of attention to green technologies. Many people turn to them for installing solar panels. During last year, ECLOF UCO concentrated in investing in ecological green projects or other optional energy systems for people who live in rural areas with low income and for them, it's an opportunity to have free energy through solar equipment and also to be able to produce some extra energy and to sell it to power stations. The solar stations have 12 years life cycle, but the loan is provided for five years. Instead of utility bills, client is paying back the loan and after five years, the clients do not pay for utilities for seven years, which supports business stability and positively affects financial situation. Inier, Isom, Lucerne and others. Ovanes is one of the beneficiaries of Eklov. Everyone knows him as a hard-working, helpful neighbor and a patriot of his homeland. As soon as the sun rises, he goes to work. He manages to engage in both animal husbandry and farming, cultivating his land and sometimes his fellow villagers' lands. He says that Eklov crediting was timely and useful. I took last year, sowed these lands, cultivated, fertilized, did pig farming, bought pig feed and calves. My land plot is 1000 square meters. The whole area is in greenhouse. We cultivate twice a year. This spring, for example, part of it were tomatoes, partly eggplant, partly cucumber. This year we needed some amount and Eklov helped us. We have spent the money on buying the polyethylene, as the wind has damaged our old one. Also the stoves, as during the winters and springs it was impossible to cultivate without it, also bought cucumber seeds. I have set up this production unit and worked since 2004 till today. Stone production, tile production and recently started the production of fireproof bricks. I have applied for loan about six months ago, built this guest house and used the money for the guest house and production unit. Artur Shahinyan assures that thanks to Eklov, he will soon finish the renovation works of the guest house and will have an opportunity to create new jobs. Espain, who wrote to me, 
Now only one cottage of the guest house is operable. If the remaining cottages start operating, the jobs will increase naturally. It is envisaged to create about 10 jobs. It may be already five years I assume that we cooperate with Eglof. Mainly I borrowed from them in order to buy seedlings, fertilizers and for current expenses. Thanks to the funding, I have bought potato seedlings imported from Europe. We saw them and as a result got our own high quality seedlings and thanks to that funds we were able to harvest a good yield and afford it to pay down payment for the tractor machine and bought it. Vahe's main occupation is farming. He says that with his work he inspired his fellow villagers who started cultivating and sowing the lands uncultivated for years. In case of financial problems, they already know whom to turn to. They try to work following each other. I have gave advice to my uncle and he is also a borrower. It may be two or three times he takes advantage of Eklov services. And in general, it is easy to work with Eklov because the staff guide us as what we can do in a right way, in which direction you can spend the money and work very quickly. The Eklov Foundation has various investments, the main of which is in the financial microfinance system. As already mentioned, Eklov Universal Credit Organization was founded in 2006. Since 2014, Eklov International, which is a direct Swiss and foreign investment in Armenia, has been invited to participate in the capital of the UCO. This is an opportunity for full membership of the microfinance network with all its positive consequences, as well as an opportunity to access additional financial resources, professional and methodological support, etc. Eklov has invested in and is a shareholder of Akpa Bank since 2021, considering both financial and social missions implemented consistently, loyally and successfully. This center is for the Eklofers, and the first Eklofers are the clients of the credit organization, who are considered as beneficiaries for the foundation. This venue serves as a gathering point for trainings and meetings, enabling them to get acquainted with each other and exchange their best practices. Similar projects are organized by the head of the human resources for the staff of the Universal Credit Organization and the senior management is actively involved in and supports the project preparation and for sure the center should be used and become the business center for the Eklofers. In 2023, the Eklof Foundation set up the Eklof Business Center in the village of Hobartzi in Gulagara community, in Lori province of the Republic of Armenia, which has already become a center for various ECLOV conferences, courses and training for both Armenian and international ECLOVs, several international, public and professional partners operating in Armenia for business meetings and joint events. It also contributes to the development and revitalization of the countryside. Our partners from Switzerland, Georgia frequently visit here and we arrange various consultations, informal formal negotiations, discussions and trainings. The ECLOF management pays high importance to raising qualification of its staff and consistently carries out various workshops, possibly available in Armenia and not only and it also arranges remote trainings and various capacity building events for the beneficiaries paying particular importance to ensuring balance among the beneficiaries in terms of youth, women engaged in small and medium-sized businesses. Our organization operates exclusively with Armenian drum, utilizes only AMD and allocates exclusively in AMD 
by the means of which we want to have our input in strengthening the investment value of the national currency. The executive leadership develops a five-year strategy program where all the strategy objectives and roadmap towards implementing those objectives will be identified in accordance with the mission. Nowadays, ECLOF carries out operations in Armenia with twofold significance. In their core activity domain and the area of church building and being devoted to the church. Let the God give strength to both the director and the whole staff so that they are able to work keeping in mind the school of faith and work by the God blessings. ECLOF's programs and investments. Through the support of ECLOF for almost 25 years, microfinancial counseling in the form of seminars and professional support was provided to about 23,000 people. Provided a loan or credit of about 20 billion Armenian drums. More than 30,000 clans, of which female clans accounted for more than 6,000, young clans for more than 3,500 and created more than 3,000 new jobs. The total number of beneficiaries using the programs is about 115,000. I wish all the success, especially to all our people of Armenia, particularly given our mission for all those people who want to improve their social conditions through their own honest efforts becoming useful to their republic, because we are the owners of our country and we should take care of our country. I would very much like that ECLOF had bigger input in this effort, becoming a real supporter of the people who have that vision on their mind. I thank all those people who have decided to work with ECLOF and found that the letter can become helpful to them. And we, in our turn, should not save any effort to become useful for them in the area which is our mission.